Iran has developed a robust drone industry after decades of importing defense equipment for domestic use by both security and military forces. By the fall of 2022, Tehran had also exported drones or drone technology to at least five countries on four continents, as well as to at least seven proxy militias in the Middle East. When images of Iranian drones were published a few years ago, they would say their photoshopped Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said on October 19, 2022. Now they say Iranian drones are dangerous, why do you sell them or give them to so and so? Iran fielded the largest arsenal of drones and missiles in the Middle East, the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency DIA, reported in 2022. It increasingly relied on drones to diversify its air power and aid proxies. They are inexpensive, versatile, and Iran probably believes they sometimes allow for plausible deniability Lt. Gen. Scott Barrier, the DIA director, told the Senate Armed Services Committee. Iran focused on improving accuracy, lethality, and over-the-horizon capabilities he added. Iran's production of unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, came of age during the mid to late 1990s, although the first uses abroad were not detected until the early 2000s, Farzan Nadimi, a fellow at the Washington Institute, told the Iran Primer. By 2022, Iran's drones had altered the strategic balance to varying degrees in war zones in Europe, Africa and Asia. They have made considerable impact on any battlefield they have appeared in said Nadimi, an arms expert. Iran's largest exports were long-range Shad 136 suicide drones and shorter-range Mohajer 6 attack drones provided to Russia, beginning in August 2022, for use in Ukraine. In other war zones, Iran sold drones to Ethiopia in 2021 for use against Tigrayan rebels. It launched a clandestine operation in 2014 to provide Yemen's Houthi rebels with unassembled drones, drone components, and know-how for use against a Saudi-led coalition, Nadimi said. As early as 2008, Sudan deployed Iran's Ababal III against the Sudan People's Liberation Movement and other rebels in Darfur. Iran has also provided the technology for allies to produce drones locally. In May 2022, Tajikistan opened a factory to produce Iran's Ababal II reconnaissance and attack drones. Around 2010, Venezuela started assembling Mohajer II surveillance drones. By 2021, Iran and its allies were assembling drones in Syria. By 2022, Iran had been approached by more than 20 countries including Algeria, Armenia and Serbia, about acquiring drone technology, Major General Yahya Rahim Safavi, a former Revolutionary Guard commander appointed senior advisor to the Supreme Leader, claimed on October 18. Iran has also exported drones or drone technology to proxies including Lebanon's Hezbollah, Katab Hezbollah and other Hashd al-Shabi militias in Iraq, the Houthis in Yemen, and Hamas in Gaza since 2004. A new era has begun Safavi boasted. We are now witnessing great changes in new technology, wealth, power and global order. Export quantities have varied from a handful of drones sent to Sudan and Ethiopia to hundreds provided to Russia, Hezbollah and the Houthis, Nadimi said.
Countries and non-state actors sought Iranian drone technology because there may well have been few available alternatives Douglas Berry, a senior fellow at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, told the Iran Primer. Unlike Iran, Israel and Turkey, the other major drone exporters in the Middle East do not face international sanctions. Both can import high-quality components and electronics for drones, while Iran must resort to the black market or produce systems through reverse engineering Nadimi said. Reverse engineering is time-consuming, so Iran's drones are usually one generation behind. Despite the challenges, the performance of Iranian drones is at par with the competition, and in some respects, even better Nadimi added. Iran exported drones in defiance of international attempts to curb its arms sales. In 2007, the UN Security Council unanimously approved an embargo on the sale or transfer of Iran's conventional arms, including drones. In 2015, UN Security Council Resolution 2231 endorsed the nuclear deal between Iran and the world's six major powers, which continued the ban, but with gradual dates for lifting the embargoes. The UN ban on exporting conventional weapons, including drones, was lifted in 2020. Iran then more actively sought to export weapons, Nadimi said. But in October 2022, Western nations argued that Tehran still needed Security Council approval to export drones because Iranian drones with a range of 300 kilometers, 180 miles, or more, use missile-related technology that was still embargoed until October 2023. The United States, Britain, France and Germany called for a UN investigation into Iran's transfer of drones to Russia. They cited possible violations of Resolution 2231.